Yeah, it's going to be built and centered around a lot of heat, not, not unlike uh, we're used to around here. Uh, the uh, fall season begins tomorrow. The average high is 89. Average low is 72. Records for the day tomorrow, 99, set back in 1926. Record low, it'll be a while for in the 50s, I'm afraid, but that is the record low for tomorrow. Right now, it's in the 70s. Across the valley, 74 in West Lacoste, 73 in Harlingen, uh, Island 78, Edinburgh 71, McAllen also at 78 degrees. Winds have calmed from earlier today. It was a pretty breezy day, uh, but we're now seeing these numbers under 10 miles per hour. Tropical storm beta, oh, so close. Close to making that official landfall, bringing widespread rain to the middle and upper Texas coast. Parts of that uh, area still seeing some flooding rain potential. You can see the center of the storm basically on shore, spreading a lot of rain up into parts of eastern Texas and the Arklatex region. That's going to basically kind of be the story in the next couple of days. So by Tuesday, uh, a weak trough of low pressure swinging across Texas is going to be just enough to pick up beta and swing it eventually off to the east into parts of the lower Mississippi Valley. So as that happens, we're going to continue to stay dry around South Texas as we finally get rid of the remnants of beta. This is not going to happen, though, until probably Thursday of this week. So until then, it's going to be basically lingering in the South. Southeast Texas coastline finally ejecting off to the north and east toward Mississippi. And then we're going to be looking at heat building across the state. In fact, starting on Wednesday, highs are likely to be at 90 plus degrees for not only the rest of the week, but likely most of the weekend as well. High resolution radar showing we have flash flood warnings in effect for the greater Houston metro area back to Galveston and also farther south and west as well. The center of circulation is south and east of Victoria, very close to Port O'Connor and very close to making landfall. Hurricane Teddy re-strengthening this evening. It's now back to Category 2 intensity, winds of 100 miles per hour. Thankfully, with this system, it's moving northward and not affecting the East Coast in any meaningful way and will be affecting southeastern Canada through the rest of the week. In fact, uh, tropical storm warnings in effect for Nova Scotia. Paulette has reformed in the Azores Islands, winds of 60 miles per hour. Here's a very odd stat for you. You can see the track here. Uh, this is the same system from about a week and a half ago that moved over the island of Bermuda. It is now re-strengthened, and this is the first storm to do this in 16 years, basically where it, it weakens and then regains its tropical characteristics later in its lifespan. And uh, it's going to be hovering out here in the northeastern Atlantic, uh, I guess not too far there from the coast of Spain. Uh, so some pretty uh, crazy stuff there. Your seven-day forecast uh, coming up here in just a second. Uh, looking at 90s for the rest of the week starting on Wednesday into the weekend. Stay with us here on Local 23. We're back after this.